Folks, it is about the end of my time having the M3 Pro, but I did want to make a video. Uh, I asked permission from Lucas to review the M3 Pro versus the M3 Max on the 14 inch. And what we're going to be doing is just showcasing some of the methodology. So here I use the TG Pro, which you get from the website. And then Cinebench is a test that we both run. Um, I figured I'd make this video because I'm actually traveling in Brazil and didn't actually have the time to make a M3 Max versus M3 Pro as in getting both machines and testing them. But I found this video, which was really good and figured I'd link it below in the comment pins and then showcase it running the Cinebench on my M3 Pro, which has the 18 core. And then he had the M3 Max, which was the binned version um, that has the lower core count and the 14 inch as well. We're going to take a look at his scores versus mine. So keep in mind that in the methodology, this is not like a data accurate test, nor is any YouTuber that you'll find online. But I do want to point out that I'm in Brazil, do not have air conditioning. You may have checked out my previous videos where I did the one week slash two week review. Um, and I'm actually traveling internationally. What I want to point out from my tests in that in this GPU render, I won a shout out to all YouTubers who actually th sit through the 10 minute render time. Um, but pointing out that the CPU temperature and cores stay around 75 when running the GPU test. And then what happens is that there are some spikes in the performance cores that go up, um, but that the score, at least from the rendering perspective, like you can make out what this is, actually was around 5,900 points, which obviously isn't the official score because I was literally like running out of battery. So I just figured I'd like cut to the chase in this video. But going to the 14 inch, which has the M3 Max, you get a GPU score of 7,990. So almost a 3,000 bump or from 5,900 to 7,900. Now, when I ran the test in my instance to get to the uh, CPU score, you could hear the Portuguese in the background. That's my aunt, my wife's family. But this was the fan noise. It was kicking up and you saw it showing in the video as well. Um, almost max fan noise on the right size, right side, and you are getting, you know, almost 6,000 RPM. The temperature does go up, and we get the CPU score of around 10,000. And this one I did allow to finish because I wanted to eat some of this yummy Brazilian food that my aunt cooks. So I just left the video running while I stepped away. And going to the M3 Max, we actually see that his score on the M3 Max, which is the bin version when it's rendering now, running is at 1100 points um, for the CPU multi-core. And it shows the performance here. And something I wanna point out that's very interesting is that the temperatures are lower. And it could be that we've actually been emailing each other. It's, it's kind of cool. Um, but he's got like a 90, 95 or mine went up to 103 and then finally finishes the render and you get the 1200 points. So about 200 points better, which it, I'm, depending on who what you're thinking um, could be a drastic change or not but if you compare like the geek bench scores it is a drastic improvement from the m3 pro to the m3 max and also compared to the m2 max so all of my takes or considerations for this video um is that in my opinion after seeing this video and trying this to test on my own on my own device i would actually get the m3 max because it ran cooler which might be because you have more cores. So because you have more cores, maybe they're not all being pushed to the max, but you could do the same thing better than the M3 Pro, run cooler, fans run smaller. Um, or I would just get a binned version of the M3 Pro if you're trying to just be reduce money as much as possible. So between those versions, I really don't see the need to get this middle M3 Pro that I picked up. Um, and that's my take on the 14 inch seeing his his video comparing it to my scores is what i would recommend for people and another shout out to lucas is that we've been chatting each other up and i don't know if you know kind of been getting bored and maybe viewers are getting bored the same people make the same youtube stuff but he was asking about maybe something i'll spin up because so i used to do self-improvement digital marketing perhaps if there's an interest in people who want to uh i don't know grow a channel or find a support group of like hey here's 
here's video ideas, or can you give me feedback? I'm thinking about spinning up a cohort on that. So let me know in comments or send me a message. You can get my email. Um, I'll think about spinning that back up probably, probably for free this year. Um, and then I'll think about what I want to do in life. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and my takes on getting an M3 Max versus an M3 Pro. I'll see you guys in the next video.